the moment you've all been waiting for the toilet paper review for your RV and what works best. When using any type of RV that has a black water system, you need to make sure that you use the correct type of toilet paper in that system. Because yes. if you don't, you can cause clogs. And if you cause clogs, it can turn into a very expensive mess mm -hmm. and a very messy, messy mess. So you do not want to deal with that. So today we're going to talk about uh, seven different types of uh, toilet paper that we're going to try out, we're going to test them out, we're going to see which one works best. And uh, we're also going to try out a Kleenex. Tissues and some flushable wipes. Flushable wipes. Yes. The seven types of toilet paper that we will be testing today are the PC Super Soft, the Royale Original, the Cashmere, the Cashmere EnviroCare, Charmin Ultra, Camp Go RV toilet paper, and the Kirkland Signature. As well, we'll be doing tissues and the flushable wipes. To start this experiment, we uh, half filled each jar with uh, tap water, and we will tear off four sheets of each toilet paper and put them in the jar and one tissue and one wipe. Um, we'll give the jars a couple shakes to simulate the... Uh, actual flushing of the toilet. Yeah, the actual flushing of the toilet. And we'll let it sit for an hour and then we'll come back and test them out and see how well they dissolved or did not dissolve. While we're putting the sheets in, Cheryl's gonna put them in and she's gonna talk about uh, the other things you need to consider too. Not just the dissolvability, mm -hmm. but uh, how it actually feels on your tushy. You well, know, you I'm don't, not going to demonstrate that. I'm just going to feel on my fingers. Yeah, but you don't want sandpaper down there. So even if something is really good and it dissolves well and it doesn't feel good, you might not want to use that one. So we're going to kind of talk about that too. Mm -hmm. So let's start putting the toilet paper in. Okay. Okay, here's four squares of the Royale. It's a two-ply and it's not too bad. It's, it's fairly soft. So we'll put that in. Down you go. Now let's try four squares of the PC brand. It's two ply as well. One, two, three, four. This feels a tad bit thinner. So a flushable wet wipe, flushable. It's thick as would be expected. And this is the cashmere. I'll do four squares, one, two, three, four. It's a little bit thinner too. They all feel fairly soft though. Cashmere and Viro. This feels fairly, quite thin. Need extra of that stuff. And the Charmin. It's a little bit softer. What is this? This is two ply as well, but it's thicker of them all. Here's the Camp Go RV. So these are like those cheap napkins that you get at the diner. I can't open this. Okay. One, two, three, and four. This is really, really thin. This, not going to go too far. Bloop. And then we have the two ply of Kirkland. I think they've all been two ply. One, two, three, four. Thicker, softer. What ply is this? I don't know. Two ply as well. Thick, thickest of all. Okay, we'll give each jar a couple shakes. Okay, and we'll let it sit for an hour and we'll come back to that. We talked about the dissolvability and we talked about how the toilet paper feels. The other consideration is the price. So I've done all the math on all of this and I've got it down, broken it down to how much it costs per sheet of toilet paper. PC Super Soft, 0.275 cents per sheet. The Royale Original, 
is 0.358 cents per sheet. The cashmere, 0.303 cents per sheet. The cashmere EnviroCare, 0.280 cents per sheet. The Charmin Ultrasoft, 0.467 cents per sheet. The Kirkland Signature Bath Tissue, 0.196 cents per sheet. And the Camco RV Toilet Paper, 0.399 cents per sheet. So if you look at that, actually the most expensive one here is the Charmin Ultra Soft. Um, and then the second most expensive would be the Camco Toilet Paper. So the RV sure. one, that's the, uh, it's the second most expensive that, when one. I said that feels like the uh, napkins from a cheap diner. Right, so you'd probably have to use a lot more of that more yeah. sheets. Yes. So if you're using like five sheets of this one, you might need like 10 sheets of this one. Mm -hmm. So really that kind of doubles the cost this of this one. This one's quite thin too. That's right, the EnviroCare. But the texture was, I, I preferred the texture of this one over that one. Another so, point I wanted to make when you're on the road traveling and RVing, um, this will be less readily available as opposed to some of the other brands because you can just go into the grocery store and get any of these other ones. But it, this one, you have to go more to more specific store. Right. So let's <laughs> let this sit for an hour. We'll come back and we'll have a look. Okie dokie. Alrighty. It's been one hour now and we're going to see how the uh, water test worked with each of these brands of toilet tissues. And we'll just give each jar a little shake as if it's going for a drive to the dump station. And I will take out a little bit and see how it does. We're going to start with the Kirkland. Give the jar a little shake and we'll pull it out and see how it tested. Oh my, it's done very well. It's like, oopsie, it's so shredded I can't even pick up the pieces. Again. Yeah, it's really, yeah. Okay. Oh, you can't even see it. It's pulpy water is what it is. Next, we will do the Camco toilet tissue. We'll give the jar a little shake. Doesn't look quite as dissolved as the Kirkland. A little more chunky. It's actually not, well, there we go. Now I'm getting some chunks. Some of it broke down, but. So the um, RV toilet tissue, which is supposed to be the best, so far it's in second place. It's the Charmin, we'll give it a little shake. Oh, Charmin, what is happening here? That is very clumpy. Charmin, you're not doing a very good job of disintegrating. Okay, that is in last place right now. Cashmere EnviroCare, we'll give it a shake. a little bit going on but not bad it's quite a bit dissolved in there a little bit of chunkage still think the Kirkland beats out the rest so far here we have the cashmere we'll give it a shake Oh, wow. 
I can't even grab anything. I'm impressed. This did better than the cashmere and viral, which I wasn't expecting. Well, I'm not able to pick up anything. It is like totally disintegrated. I might have to change brands. Way to go, cashmere. Now we have the PC brand. We'll give it a shake. Nope. <laughs> I can't pick any of it up either. I don't know if you can see any of that. Very good. So it looks like PC and cashmere are tied for first. Here we are with the Royale. Oh, a little bit. About as much as the Kirkland, I'd say. There's not a whole lot to pull out either. Ugh. I don't know if you can see that a little bit. All in all, not too bad. This is the tissue. Looks like a pretty flower in there. It hasn't done too much. Well, hello, tissue. You are fully intact. No dissolvability whatsoever. So those are a definite no-no. And the wet wipe. Oop. Fully intact. Good for cleaning up spills, I guess. No dissolvability whatsoever. So those, even though they say they're flushable, they're not. Okay, so Cheryl did a great job in testing all of these. That was fun. And uh, basically the uh, final results are the best ones, as Cheryl tested them, is the PC Super Soft, President's Choice yep. Super Soft, and the uh, Cashmere. The uh, PC Super Soft is uh, definitely one of the cheaper ones at 0.275 cents per sheet. So that's really good. And the cashmere is uh, at 0 0.303 cents per sheet. Okay. So not too bad for those two, but uh, this PC Super Soft then would probably win out if you're looking at cost because it would be the least expensive of the top two. But either one is great. And then you have for second place, basically, you have the uh, Royale Original mm -hmm. and. and the Kirkland Signature yes. bath tissue. Which is what we're using. And the Royale Original is 0.358 cents per sheet. And the Kirkland Signature is 0.196 cents per sheet. So it is by far the cheapest. This one? The Kirkland? Yep, that is by far the cheapest. Mm -hmm. And it's not bad. It will work in your RV system. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a good choice too. Then we get to kind of the middle of the road. Not all that great. Uh, but may work. And that's the Cashmere Enviro Care. Uh, and it's at uh, 0 0.280 cents per sheet. Mm -hmm. And then what we probably wouldn't recommend from this, surprisingly, the Camco RV toilet paper. Yeah. It's by far the most expensive toilet paper. It's still chunky in there. And yeah, it didn't dissolve all that well. It's dissolving, but not as well as uh, most of these other ones. Because it and feels more like uh, napkins to wipe your face. Yeah. Remember I said the cheap... Diner. Yeah, and you need twice as much of it in order to, to do the job. Mm -hmm. And then in last place, where okay. is it? The Charmin Ultra Soft. So we definitely would not recommend using the Charmin Ultra Soft. And also, as you saw, this is why you don't put Kleenex in the toilet. Or the wet wipes. And they wet wipes, trash. baby wipes or whatever, definitely do not go in the toilet. They shouldn't even go in your toilet at home. Either of these, they shouldn't be going in your toilet at home, but definitely in your trailer, don't use them in the toilet. Just discard them in the uh, in the garbage. So point being, 
how you can save in your RV for space wise and the black toilet and the uh, clogging up just well, for pee toilet paper anyway, just throw it in the garbage. I know some people have used like a diaper genie even, but you just throw your toilet paper in the trash and get rid of it. Yeah. Save room. The <laughs> less toilet paper in the uh, black tank, the better. So if you do prefer to use the softest, less dissolvable kind, put it in the garbage then. Yeah, I wouldn't use it. I would but probably- But some people are particular about what they like. So yeah. if this is true what they love and they can't part with it, don't put it in the black tank. Don't put it in the black tank, just put it in the garbage. So that's it for our uh, RV toilet paper test. I hope you learned something from this. And uh, yeah, Say hello. we'll see you in the next video. Okay. Say bye, King. Bye. <laughs> Good boy.